What's up guys? Welcome to your What's up guys? Welcome to your 25th Android tutorial for my bring back. Again, it's me Travis. I know it's been a while since I made some tutorials for you guys, so I owe it to you to make at least 30 brand new tutorials by the end of August. So keep your eyes open. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of tutorials here, so uh, just keep that uh, keep that in mind. And what we're going to actually get into is I'm going to teach you guys how to become Pablo Picasso. We're going to learn about canvases, drawing to the screen, graphics, all that good stuff. Um, at least an introduction. Uh, obviously can't cover everything in one tutorial. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new class called Tutorial 4, Extends Activity, nothing new, right? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to set our content view to a class that we define ourselves. And this class that we're going to define is going to basically be um, our own view made in Java, strictly Java, and it's going to have our ball and all that good stuff. But just for this tutorial, we're going to set up a constructor and set up that other class uh, to handle our, all of our graphics and all that good stuff. So what we need is we need a class that's going to be, allow us to you know, act as a view. So after you guys get this uh, this class set up and get our uh, button, you know, to open up this class and set this up in the manifest and all that stuff, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class. And you're like, what already? Yeah, it's going to be pretty easy, and we're just going to go new class, and we're going to call this class drawing the ball or whatever you guys want to call it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to allow this class to act as our view. What do I mean, you may be asking yourself? Well, let's go over into our Tutorial 4 class, and up here we're going to set up our view, and it's going to be of the type Drawing the Ball that we just created. And we're just going to say, we're going to call this our view or V, something like that. And what we're going to do is, after this super method, we're just going to set V equal to New Drawing the Ball. And as for now, that doesn't really mean anything. We're going to uh, give it basically the brackets to say, call this class, create a new instance of this class, drawing the ball. And again, right now, it doesn't really, um, you know, it's not really doing anything. But again, we're going to allow this class to act as our view or canvas that's going to draw the ball and all that good stuff. And then what we can do is we can say set content view to uh, this class or this this variable we set up called v and this method set content view is giving us an error right now because it's like hey this uh, drawing the ball class I don't know what you're talking about but uh, that's not a view man um, that's pretty much nothing but that's what we're gonna get into in this tutorial is we're gonna go into this drawing the ball class and we're gonna say extends view and then we just have to add our imports then we have to add our constructor and you're like what's a constructor well we'll get into that and in probably either this tutorial talk about it or the next tutorial so just say add constructor that takes a context so basically when we're creating a view we need some sort of a context that gets passed in so that's the only key reference that we need to know right now so then we're going to go into our tutorial for class and now we're getting an error here because it's like hey uh, yeah you told me to create kind of a new drawing the ball type thing and uh, that class told me I need a, a context of some sort so I was wondering if you could you know figure that out and so all we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in the context of our tutorial 4 class so we're just gonna say tutorial 4 dot this or we could just say um, that's kind of a more specific way it's still the same reference but we could have just typed this as well because it's gonna know we're passing the context of this class in to our drawing the ball. So let's just talk about what we've done. I know it's a short tutorial. We haven't really done anything with our drawing yet, but uh, just to understand the concepts of constructors and how we and why we're creating a new object and all that good stuff. So just a quick overview. We created a new variable, and it's of the type drawing the ball, which is the class we created. So what we want is a new view, essentially, because we're setting our content view to some sort of a view. So obviously our drawing the ball class needs to be a view. So that's why we said extends view. And then when we actually create our view, what we want to do is we want to say, hey, new drawing the ball, I'm passing in the context of this class. Work with that context and send me the result. I'll set that equal to V. So 
In this class, what we're doing is this is a constructor. If you guys know Java, you probably already know what's going on here. But again, in our tutorial for class, we said uh, a new drawing the ball and we pass in the context. So now we can relate to that context within this class, our tutorial for context, uh, you know, for whatever we need it for. But uh, again, all a constructor is, is it's pretty much like the onCreate method that we've used, um, you know, a few times. It, this is basically the initial setup. And we're getting pass in a context that we can refer to. We can set up, um, like, if other things within this class refer to that context, we can relate to it if we choose. And that's just a, you know, basic introduction to the constructor. Uh, you guys will probably understand things a little bit more as we go through the series, but. Um, again, I just wanted to show you guys the initial setup, what we were doing, and in the next tutorial, we'll set up our, our view, our drawing the ball and all that good stuff. So I'll catch you guys then, and see you later.